Spitwads, I have to tell you, I have to tell you about a new game I started playing. You guys might know from uh, our show, I am a big fan of the Match 3 style games. You know, back in the day I was crushing some candy, but it's not 2012 anymore. This is this is today. You want an upgraded game. You want something that's fun, and I, I can't put down Best Fiends. Best Fiends is... An awesome, fun game. It's one of those match style games, which you know those little puzzles where it's like I feel like I'm I'm exercising my brain when I play and I'm having fun. Uh, hard to put down, man. It's it's look. I just got it. I'm level seventy. Uh, is that because the game is great or is that because I'm great? I don't know. You decide. Um, but it's it's been a lot of fun and there's more strategy involved. You get to collect all your fiends, level them up, decide how you're gonna, um, you know how you're going to uh, use your capital to make sure that, you know, you can beat each level. It's it's a lot of fun, and literally, they have thousands of levels. I think they're up to 4,000 more added all the time, so there's always going to be a fresh challenge when you're in your me time, and you know what room you're in when you're in your me time. That's where I'm playing, and you can download Best Fiends free today on the App Store or Google Play. That's friends without the R, Best Fiends. Oh, we got a great spit hits for you today. Why? Well, simple. Jason loves Spears, and Jason <laughs> talks he does. about Spears. This is the Spears? Yeah, well, no, it's the return of the oh. spear because you've brought it up multiple times. It's your weapon of choice. That's the best weapon. Well, you'll understand. Uh, we also have Liar Liar on the show today and a whole lot more. Enjoy. What happens when three buffoons give life advice, explore unrealistic situations, and give random topics more thought than they probably deserve? It's the Spitballers Podcast with Andy, Mike, and Jason. Ooh-cha-choo-cha-choo-cha-choo-cha! Choo, 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 choo. Yeah! <laughs> Oh, that was one that just wouldn't have worked if you weren't 100 on it. That one at 90%, it doesn't land for me. I think you said horchata one time. I'm not sure. <laughs> I, I, I love horchata. Horchata chow down. I committed to a, a an H and a ch sound. No, no, no. You you did. I you mean, did. look, the, the normal scat is involves the b and the d. We're we're overlooking the hutch. <laughs> <laughs> I've been thinking that for a long time. Like, I was like, where is the hutch? Well, I've been thinking it as well, and here we are. Congratulations, gentlemen. Oh, yes. 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 2019 <laughs> comedy podcast winner at podcastawards.com. Thanks to the Spitwads and good old-fashioned bribery. Yeah. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Don't give out the trade secrets, man. <laughs> Al Borland, no, he's made of money. He does this for fun, <laughs> and he bribed the voting public, and we appreciate that, Al. Hundreds no of problem. thousands of dollars. Yeah. Spent one dollar at a time. One dollar a vote. Yes. Yes. He was. Thank you. And that he's principled. He would never pay more than a dollar a vote. That's be if you pay everybody a little bit, it's not cheating. That's right. No. Thank you. Spit was yes, for voting so for much. us. It was a surprise. I can tell you Al Borland was watching with his family and then spitballers popped up on the screen as the winner of the 2019 best comedy podcast. And he said, What? And then he pumped his fist mm -hmm. like a professional athlete would after a touchdown. Mm. Or a producer would do after a big podcast award it's win. Identical. Very yep. similar. But thank you very much. We appreciate everybody supporting the podcast. We're on Twitter at SpitballersPod. The community is at SpitballersPod.com. Just click the Become a Spitwad button, and that'll take you over to Patreon. And uh, we appreciate all the suggestions, the ideas for drafts and segments, and would you rather questions. Oh, they flood in. Especially from friends and family, I'll tell you. I they am, are facing some real questions. I am so excited for today's episode. It's finally back. The the people they've been scrambling, they've been begging since the debut. Oh yeah, of, of the Andy Solo podcast. Welcome in everybody. Oh, oh bad oh. podcast. <laughs> <laughs> he just screams bad podcast. This is bad. <laughs> No, sorry, Mike. Continue. The return of the Liar Liar segment. Very, very pumped for it. Also, sometimes, look, we do a draft on every single show. You know, we do a, a silly, fun draft of, of things. 
And sometimes you're really, really happy that you have the first pick because that's the way the cookie has crumbled, yeah, like, as Jim Carrey would say. Like two weeks ago, I had the number one pick, and our draft was probably was, the, the, was stupidest, so jealous. the no. stupidest draft we'd ever no, done. No, that was the animals you playing ended on, up a, winning. on a football I, team. I did end up winning, but that was animals playing for a you football know, I, team. I got the first pick, and I won. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're going to win I'm this Jason. draft. Also, let's just say this. Look. There are a couple new segments we've rolled out recently, and they are awesome. Liar, liar, it's back. The other one with the fake articles. What, what is? We don't even know the name. What is that? Is this real life? Is this real life? Look, <laughs> I'm going to crowdsource this. Where am I? Spitballers, when you come across an article yes. that has a headline that is just unbelievable, just so... Well, we can't all see it. We're surprising each other. I know. I want them to send it. To Al Borland. Al Borland. At, okay. what, what's your what's your at at producer Borland? On oh, this. we never check that. That's for sure. No, I don't. So we'll be fine. I don't look at that. I don't even follow him. <laughs> we didn't even know the handle. We just asked him. <laughs> All right, let's read a review. Review a Rex. This, this is like one, a this, this is like a book. This is like a book, and it comes in from the Craminator. Oh, from Canada. Oh, bonjour, bonjour. Reality TV show. These guys need to get a reality TV show for real. I listen to both the Spitballers and the Footballers podcast, and I find myself using my own imagination to picture what they do off of screen. I would love to hear Jason's commentary as he sneaks out for a late night Taco Bell run, as well as the aftermath of what the snack causes in the bathroom. They want to hear that? Hey, look, <laughs> that's the not curiosity. Cool, man is real. I want to actually see Mike weeping in the corner of his room when he gets a bad <laughs> night of sleep with that sick beard and a voice of an angel. What? That's that's the an angel with a cold. Uh that's what my voice is. I called. want to see Andy practicing in the mirror like Ron freaking Burgundy before a show because let's be <laughs> yes, real, he, does. he definitely does. He oh, definitely he definitely does. does. Oh, the Craminators nailed us. Uh, <laughs> these guys are hilarious. It doesn't feel manufactured. It would be great to be a fly on the wall. Get these guys a reality TV show. Well, Craminator, I have, I have big news for you. Big, this was the time. Like We couldn't believe the timing. The timing of, was unbelievable. The timing of this review. Our announcement after the award-winning show is that we are going to... Be open to TV offers <laughs> that come our way. So if you are running a and, and none of these like, you know, nothing small, nothing small. You know, if you run HBO, major Netflix, cable channels or preferably Amazon, network yeah. television primetime, I think we would take true TV if we could be the sure we'd follow up. What the like, like how we do this web series on our. You know, yeah, we're these are these are faces for the for the oh, television, not for the sure. internet. Unrelated, completely unrelated. What's the f record for the fastest cancel of like a new pilot show? Is it? Just it has to be one, like a one off. It, I'm sure there's plenty. I'm of sure times. there are plenty of times so where we it, can't break that. It's made, and a lot of times pilots are made, and then they don't get the show. But sometimes the show is already, you know, it it's basically prepped, it's green lit, and then I'll bet a pilot's been made. Where after the pilots move and we go, we're it, canceling can this. Can we go That'd exclusive to DVD right now? Oh, I like that. We don't release Lower the audience. No That's... internet. No no theaters. Why don't we just go VHS while we're at it? We can. I'll, okay. DVD and VHS only. Okay. Is there something I am missing? Because I've, I've thought about this frequently, which is a ridiculous thing to admit. Uh-oh. But the first episode of a new show is called The Pilot. Yes. What am I missing? Why is this the pilot? It's a great question. Okay, Mike. okay. Everybody, so clearly I'm not. No, no, everybody knows the answer, but oh, we would crap. never For tell sure. you. Well, obviously, you've got a standard alphabet, but originally the alphabet used to begin with P. Mm, it's like an <laughs> alpha thing. Yeah, and so Before P the Greeks, there was <laughs> the cavemen. Jason's furiously go Googling and not finding an answer. That is That correct. is what's happening. That is 100%. We should do a, a definition. The second definition of the word pilot is done as an experiment or test before introducing something more widely. That's what we're still on right here with hold this on, show. Hold on, hold on. First 100 episodes <laughs> is our pilot. Hold on. But that so, still doesn't so the word, explain. No, but no, no, that sort of does. But however, now the word pilot has these two different meanings. One is 
This is an experiment that we're going to kind of no, see if on. it works. And then the other one is the person in charge of your life as you fly through the air at 20,000 feet. Well, sure. But Why is also, that the same thing? There's also a pilot hole. Right, you drill a oh, pilot hole. Yeah, that's yes, the initial hole. It's, a per- it's the you know you're gonna put something in the wall. You drill Those a pilot hole. But again, things. that's done as an experiment or test to see if there's that's a correct. step behind the wall. My or- point but is, I'm saying there's there's two definitions then, like two uses. But I for don't the experiment. I feel less safe now knowing that the other definition of the word pilot is experimental. When this person. They, they, they've got the yoke in their hand and they control and, my life. So you're saying well, when next time you fly, you're thinking, that guy's going to try this out. <laughs> He's going to do a loop-de-loop. Yes. This is an experiment. <laughs> Everyone buckle up. You're going to want to listen to this safety exercise. <laughs> okay, we're moving on. The Situation Realm. This show's off to such a award-winning start. Oh, man. They're just going to start flooding in all these awards. Chase from <laughs> the website. You three are stranded in the middle of a forest and forced to survive for 30 days. Which of you builds shelter? Which of you finds water? And which of you will hunt and cook for food and why? What would that situation really look like? Did you guys read Hatchet when you were young? No, I don't read. No. I don't know what you're talking All about. Right. Well, it, it was the story of it's it, it's, a, it's like a novel you read when you're a, a kid in the elementary school. And it's it, it's about a kid who gets stranded in the wilderness. And I has know to survive. I know from past experience, my life of knowing Jason, that the first thing he's going to do for no reason, he might be really thirsty. He'll begin creating a spear. What? One hundred percent. Once the you know of tools, once you know you're <laughs> stranded. You I have bet to you're gonna say once you know your strengths, <laughs> and this is really your strength. Both, both. But Spear wielding. If I if I know it's like oh no, we just got <laughs> dropped out of a plane, and, and you know what I mean. Like we're we're in the middle of an island. What do we do? Craft a spear. That's step one. I'm and, just, I, and I'm in charge of that. Once we have a spear, I'm not letting either one of you two touch it. So I'm in charge of hunting. And finding food. I'm going to turn this parachute into a spear. I've That's seen right. you try to write an email, Jason, and it takes you a long time. If you're Mike and I oh are making shelter, gosh. we're getting food and water. The whole time you're going to be making this stupid spear. Jason the Whittler would oh, be the oh, slowest <laughs> movie. You would person. be one slow whittler. But I feel like you need a knife to whittle, right? Yes, you do. So if I or have a, a sharp rock. Okay, okay. Well, that <laughs> would take a long time for me. But if I already had a knife, I don't think I would whittle a spear. What what uh, music artist do you listen to while making a spear? Prince. Bet Whittler. Be- oh, goodness. <laughs> Bet Whittler. You, that was wow. bad. That was We're going to need some that kind of rough. horn on that one. <laughs> yeah. I really screwed it up when I didn't say Whittler. Right? It's Whittler. <laughs> I, I'm glad you explained it because I'm sitting over here. I had you no didn't idea. get it then. No, no. You just been shaking your head. Yeah, I was just like, sure. These guys are laughing at something. Apparently, really? I missed it. I did understood said, it, but it you, was. I mispronounced. Bad. You said Whitler. It would have landed if I had said Whitler. Oh, 100 percent. It would have been a sensational so we, award-winning can we re- joke. Can we recut it? Nope. And let me tell you, who you're listening to <laughs> Bet Whitler. Ooh. <laughs> the wind right. beneath did my you wings. Ever know? Uh. So Mike and I would do most of the stuff. Right. Is that fair? Yeah, I'd be ordering pizza. I'd be like, they won't accept delivery here. Uh, did everybody know the zip code? Because your Postmates, your Postmates got service. But I would definitely be in charge of food. Because should, okay. should I die in that process, I would be the most. <laughs> You'd be the food. I delicious. would be the food and I would be both the most delicious That's very, and no, no, the no, most no, no, no. sustaining. No, no, no. Bet Whittler. <laughs> Let it die. <laughs> Kill me. Uh, yeah, I think I would want control of the situation that I have no control of. That would be difficult. We would. I don't really know that I would prioritize the right things in the right order. I imagine you want shelter quickly. Yes. But I also imagine you need water. So oh, yeah. water, water is number one. Is it though? Yeah, I think so. Over, <laughs> over shelter. I believe I believe that water is number one. Over spear. A spe- spear is so far down the list. Uh, I think so. All right, let's <laughs> let's just put ourselves. We we know each other really well. I know what. Let's I'm say doing. this is a real, a, a real situation. Who's got the best sense of direction? Genuinely. Yeah, the three of us. I consider mine to be 
pretty good. Okay. Not I, not elite, but pretty good. I consider mine to be average. Yeah, I'm about average. So Mike, so all right, Mike's I'm in charge, charge of water. I'm the, I'm navigating. I feel like Andy, you could build a good shelter. Wait, if you have a good sense of direction, that doesn't tell you where water is. But it gets tells you, you where north is. It tells you how to get back from where you like. What okay, good is okay, it no, if no. I go out and find water and never see you guys again? <laughs> like I have no idea where they're at, but good for me. I've got plenty That's of fair. water. That's fair. Good One point. thing's for sure, I'm not thirsty. <laughs> And they okay, are. Okay, so Mike's in charge of water. Well, I think also putting in my myself in charge of like, we're, if you're stranded in the modern day, you certainly have your cell phone. Yes. Now the, um, the signal is is gone. You can't call anybody. Well, you got you have to survive for thirty days. This is not an escape situation. But at least for the first few days, I'm going to shoot some sweet video. Oh, I'm, I'm going to be. You're going to waste your battery. What on else would you video? use it for? A compass. I, yeah. I would really like a compass. We already talked about this. I don't need the compass. Well, you got your save, sense of direction is as good as a. You compass. have to save a little bit of battery for the goodbye, because if you don't, if you're not gonna make it, you need a little battery left to say one hundred percent. To Guys, say, honey, I it did this it went. My, well, that's the first thing you Jason do. Jason built a spear, and I'm that's and the, I have nothing. And the he's first gonna kill thing me. You do. But what good is it to survive for thirty days in the wilderness, and you don't have like content for your YouTube page? That's fair. That's fair. Did you really survive then? No one knows. It would be really cool if you could live stream. Like if for some <laughs> reason you've got signal. Hey, y'all. You still get, And you've got all the hearts flying <laughs> up as people are like, oh, this is a great video. You're like, I'm dying out Could here. you ever actually tell anybody where you're at? How would you tell How somebody you, on the video? You're in the middle of the remote wilderness and you don't know where you're at. How would you tell somebody where you're at? So I, there's some trees. Yeah. I mean, you kind of know like I'm in... Arizona. No, no, no. What no, if no. you don't? No, what no, if no. you just dropped you, randomly? You, you took a flight from L.A. to New York. Okay. And you went down somewhere. Yeah. You, you fell. Everyone fell yeah. asleep, and you just wake up, and the plane. That's is, a good point. Because I'd be like, okay, I was. Oh, and I fell asleep, so I don't even know how long it's been. Maybe you're in Nevada. Maybe no, you're, you're in Kansas. You're somewhere you between. Know. You're somewhere in between, and you are live streaming every minute of it. Here's what how I would do. How do you get people to you? Here's what I would without do without GPS. I would live stream. At night, and I would show the stars. Smash the subscribe button. I would show the stars. Oh. oh, I would definitely request a lot of subscribers. <laughs> and I would show the stars, and I would say, this is... Now, now find me. <laughs> <laughs> Someone out there is smart enough uh, to look at these stars. From what I can tell, the sun is about yay big. <laughs> <laughs> now find me. I'll give you 20 minutes. Where's Reddit? Uh, Reddit could find you. Yeah, they oh, could. for sure. They'd be like, I know that tree. I've seen that branch. <laughs> Reddit solves Reddit everything. Solves. Okay. This really. Did you guys remember that joke right in the middle of that bad boy? <laughs> <Yes>. Bad Whittler. <laughs> Man, it was so close. It really was. It was almost. All there. right. James from Patreon writes in a new situation for us. We're approached, as we often are, by Elon Musk. And he tells you that he has been secretly colonizing Mars. He offers you $3 million to go safely live on Mars for one year. His rocket, however, leaves immediately. You are not able to connect with friends, family, and work to tell them you're leaving. Wow. Do you take the trip? This is a very interesting situation. It is very. It does presume that you will return after a year. Yeah, you're That's safe. That's an important part because what good is the three or $300 million offered you if you're like, I got a 50-50 shot of getting back. Yeah, and what are you going to spend $3 million if you have to spend it on Mars, All right? Exactly. It doesn't do you any good there. No. no you're I'm the you're coming back from Mars. Okay, safely. so this is 100% guaranteed. Yep. Man. So you've got one year. You need. You got $3 million, but the next time you're going to contact your friends and family, I presume, is from Mars. No. No, it's, it's when it's you get in back. It's a year when you get back. So if they... No, I'm not doing it. No okay. way. All that right. That changes everything. If you told me that I, I could, once I'm... On Mars, I could send beam back a message and say, "Look, I took the money. I'm gone for a year." That does make it a lot that easier. Would, then uh, my kids know I'm alive. That's right. what it comes. It could be three hundred million dollars. My kids think I'm dead. I'm not dead. But see, it. that's that's the situation. Is and on, I'm saying there's not an amount of money that would make me do that. All right. Um, so on one, well, okay, Jason, we'll we'll talk about this okay. like real men. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you had me at three hundred million dollars. <laughs> but yes, on one hand. I mean, your, your wife, your wife and your children, yeah. you have vanished. They have no idea where you've gone. On the other hand, you're on, you're in Mars. You're, you're on Mars. We've talked about being the king of Mars. 
and now you are one of the first people ever, ever. Like th- this is this goes down in the history books. This is a life. One of the first people to ever fully abandon their family for money. No. You're no, not, there's that's not plenty, a of, plenty of people done that. <laughs> your wife could. Re- I mean, let's be yeah, honest. People do that for free all the time. Yeah, you. Could, that's fair. <laughs> You're at least coming back with three million. Your your wife could remarry, in theory. If you left for one year, I am gonna go out on a limb and say that wow. if I left for one year. Your wife is quick to move on. My wife would not have remarried yet. Now, five years, definitely. When do they presume your demise? I think they don't. If even you just presume- go missing. I don't they, think they I, don't think you're alive after a year. May, maybe after a year, maybe six, at least six months, at though. least six months. But maybe I think it would be a year. I think my wife would have to say at the one year anniversary, I've got to accept that he's not coming back. And that's when you have a giant suitcase full of three million dollars saying, I, surprise, I was on Mars. I parachute <laughs> down into our backyard, <laughs> throwing dollar bills out into the pool in just, the summer while they're just swimming drifting from the sky. Daddy's <laughs> back. Just rain. You are literally making it rain. Your, what would your wives really do to you if you did that? And you come walking in in a year. I've got three million dollars. The torture you put them through. I would. Be yeah, it. but it was awesome for me because I was on Mars. I understand that, that it was awesome for you, Mike, <laughs> that you got to go to Mars. That is one <laughs> of the your situations. your family will be destroyed. That we can't <laughs> overlook is like, okay, family destroyed, but so cool to go to Mars. I mean... Y- we all know who the first person on the moon was, right? Louis Jason Armstrong. Elon Musk. Jason, you're not involved in this moon conspiracy, man. But like, that's that's historical. That's forever. But that's not even this case. There's, you're going to be up on Mars with a bunch of other saps like you. Yes, yeah, true. All chasing the money. Okay, okay. You, Mike Wright was the 491st person on here's, Mars. Here's one of the rules. Here's one of the rules. You get to be the first person out of the ship. You are the first, first touchdown on Mars ever. You are ever? the first person to touch the soil of an, an extraterrestrial body in the history of humankind. That's, it, it makes it slightly more It's compelling. not like you're abandoning them forever. Yeah, it's one year. You're coming back. But you don't. Uh, no. <laughs> no. Thank you for making it I mean, it my kids compelling. are only in fifth grade and first grade. They're going to be fine. You, you'll, you won't miss prom. I'll be there for middle school. Homecoming. I'm and- too sensitive. I need to harden up. I need to realize that being the first man on another plane is far more important. No, we're family I, men first. Of I course, don't th- I would definitely stay with my I've family. I've had a hard time playing along <laughs> because... No, I, I'm just playing the devil's advocate. I, I don't think I could do it. Like, What if they could get a letter in six months and okay. it says... Turns out I'm on Mars. Just, Please wait six months. I'll be back. But Did like, you believe it or think it's a hoax? Been kidnapped. Yeah, it has to be like a telegram. On Mars. Stop. <laughs> Three million incoming. Stop. See you soon. Stop. Six months. Maybe more. <laughs> probably around six months. Stop. Here's the deal. But I'm who not, knows? Stop. <laughs> I'm not coming back. It's signed. Robot. <laughs> if you now, now, let's say you got back from this. Are you really going to be like, look. I took $3 million and went to Mars. I was told I could come back in a year, but I couldn't tell you. Or you're going to come back and be like, I was captured. <laughs> but I took their money and got away, and I'm back. No, no, no. I'd they're go not the, mad at you. I'd go the Mars way because of the fame that Mike wants. See, yeah, they're, they're not mad until you're the front. Like, hold on. I'm, I'm busy on Friday. For what? I got to be in this parade <laughs> thing. To also, don't read any news media for like. Borland. Three years. Do we have time for one more situation or should we hit liar liar? We got time. All right. Austin from the website, not on Mars. If you could warn one character in a movie or TV show of a tragic event that is about to happen, who would it be? Oh, wow. Uh, listeners, spoiler alerts yes, incoming, I'm yes, sure. Yes, for sure. I. What was the first movie that popped into your head? Because for me, it was Titanic. Now, warning them probably doesn't do a whole lot of good. For me, it was Endgame, but I don't think uh, an answer came. That was just the first thing I thought of. Like, okay, yeah. okay, but well, well, for Titanic, you could, you like, you could say like, "Hey, Leo, uh, don't get on that boat, bro." Okay, yeah. so you could warn him before yeah, he even got the on boats. But, but then there's then there's no movie, right? <laughs> the Titanic is Leo DiCaprio waving to the Titanic, and then the movie's done. Tragic event. I mean, that's just the default thing that popped into my head of a tragic event in a movie that you'd like to have known about. That's funny. The, the default that popped into my head was Rob Stark. 
Oh, oh from, from Game of Thrones? Yes. Goodness. <laughs> Say, Rob. Oh. Because it's not a wedding. <laughs> because, number one, Rob Stark was awesome. I really liked Rob yeah. Stark. Yeah. And that was two. Spoiler. 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 We, we gave our warnings. If yeah. you're still listening, that's on you. Uh, number two, that was the the most shocked I've ever been yes, for by, any- by any turn of event in in TV or a movie that I like literally did not see coming at all. So that that was the first thing that popped well, into and, my head. And let me add to that yours. What makes yours awesome is if you gave him the warning. It's not, hey, don't get on the boat. Now there's no movie. There's no story. It's hey, they are trying yes. to they're gonna destroy you and your family at this event. He's gonna flip the script yes. Yes. and he's gonna be ready and they think they're surprising him, he's surprising them, and then we get Rob Stark for the rest of the sh- series. That's well, a good at least one. for a few more episodes until he ends up being murdered i want to ruin but did that define the series is the real question it, that it kind was of a huge made, it made was it. a huge part of it yeah all right did you have any more jason or can we uh move on i want to ruin some like big twist so <laughs> that's what i want to do i i would you know i would go to the the police officer at the usual suspects and I'd, oh. wh- I'd whisper in his ear you know kaiser these guys are so safe <laughs> He just ruined the uh, in the credits. Yes. Credits. No. He'd flip the script. All right. Moving on. Spitwads, more than 50 million men in the U.S. suffer from male pattern baldness. That's two out of every three men who will experience it by the time they are 35. I'm one of those men. And there are only two FDA-approved medications that can help prevent hair loss and keeps offers both of them keeps offers a simple stress-free way to keeps that hair there are convenient virtual doctor consultations medications delivered straight to your door every three months you don't have to leave your home and it's very low cost treatments start at just ten dollars per month and keeps offers generic versions there's discreet packaging and proven results keeps has more than f- more five star reviews than any of its competitors and prevention is the key treatments could take 4 to 6 months to see results so you want to act right now if you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss go to keeps.com/ballers to receive your first month of treatment for free that's keeps.com/ballers to get that month free k e e p s.com/ballers liar liar pants on fire i don't remember the intro being that sultry to that segment that was a very from the announcer liar liar (laughs) he's a very very sultry man al borland remind our listeners what this segment is all about all right, we're going three rounds. Uh, each round consists of three facts. Two of them are true, and one of them is not. You guys need to figure out which one is not true. Now, Easy. if I remember correctly last time, yes, I got do. off to a strong start. You and Andy had a very hot start. And then Mike won. Yes. That yes. is accurate. I don't, I don't remember that. I don't think it's the first time we've done this. If only there was a way to find out. In the archive <laughs> at spitballerspod.com. Uh, round one. Here we go. Three facts, two true, one a lie. The lowest tone that can be hit by a tuba. Oh, brown tone. Is called the crass. Ooh. The See, crass. this is not fair because Mike's a music man. Yeah. Sure. But I'm, I'm just going to follow uh, his lead on that one then. Otters hold hands while sleeping so they do not drift apart. Okay. Otters have hands? Mm. This is blowing my Suspicious. world. Suspicious. Very suspicious. Horses are physically unable to vomit. Interesting. Oh Could a giraffe God. vomit? What? I, if a horse, why does that help you? No, if a horse can't vomit, then a giraffe surely cannot That's vomit. That's my point. Because you believe it's neck related? This is algebraic. Yes. I mean, it's all, you got to push against gravity for a long way. You know there's a pretty big neck difference between a giraffe and a horse, right? Yeah. Exactly. It's way worse for a giraffe. Yes, my point. I mean, on this basis, if, if horses can't vomit, then donkeys can't vomit, right? I like that this that this one <laughs> Possibly. is... Possibly. I like that this one is themed. Animal, animal, tuba. <laughs> <laughs> well, the tuba is the animal of the music family. Right. Ooh. Okay, so Beth first of Whittler. all, I've got to go back to the hands on an otter. This this one is... Otters the- have... F- like fins or flippers or something, no, right? No, oh no. This God. this is the what one. What animal am I thinking? Don't have flippers. You're thinking of like a 
An otter is like a mammal. I know what an otter is. No, you do not. You Are just you said they have s- fins. Oh, well, my gosh. No, no, no. To be fair, like a, isn't a seal a mammal? I am. am I, one, they have flippers. I am 100% yes, but it's a seal. Percent thinking of seals. Okay. Gosh. Otters have like yes, little. they have hands. His and- defense is, I know what a, an otter is, <laughs> then finds out doesn't know what otter is. Did not know what an otter was. I am locking this one, and it's true, because I have seen plenty of. I believe it as well. I've seen plenty of the videos where they have the otters asleep holding hands and it's one of the sweetest things you've ever seen in your life okay i'm just on google wait i i have one more supposed to be on google no no oh i'm sorry but this wasn't this wasn't to answer the question this was to know if i know what an otter was so look (laughs) what is an otter do they hold hands no one word is in google otter and then i went to images i just wanted to see an otter that's it all right and i'm go i'm voting that horses are physically unable to vomit is true no is is the false one that's it I'm going to say that the crass tuba one is true. The otters one is true. And horses being physically unable to vomit, I'm going to say is false. Okie dokie. What about otters? Were you saying? I'm going to continue. Thank you. Thank you. I was going to say they are the most adorable thing I've ever seen. Yes. Otters are like. (laughs) What do you think of their fins? They don't have them. (laughs) Yeah. Okay. So uh, for the question, I think that giraffes cannot vomit so i'm going to say horses also cannot vomit mm. but man if that's true if both can't vomit then horses not vomiting is not like a special quality it's just animals with long necks can't vomit yeah but it just says horses are physically unable to vomit it doesn't say they're the only animal that can't vomit but my point is if there's a lot of animals unable to vomit then this is just a really stupid point Ooh, i'm sa- i'm changing that's the lie oh my goodness that's yes. the lie, and as in, so me and you are once again matching. I guess so. The tuba is very crass when it goes low. <sighs> I need a vote, Mike. Well, the, the problem is I want to play the game, but I, I actually agree with you guys. I think the one about the tuba, if that was a crafted lie by Al Borland, that is sensational. That's what I think, and I don't think he's that sensational I'm, of a producer. I'm going award-winning, yes. And it's only round one. I don't want to start in a deficit again. So, so. We're all genius here. All right, no, tell we us, got we, three, tell three us we got it right. You are all incorrect. Oh, oh come on. The, so the, craft the tuba one? is completely made up. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Well done. Good job. That's honestly a really – that helps me trust that we're going to have some very challenging rounds to Can come. Can giraffes vomit? Oh, gosh. <laughs> so, wait, what's the wrong yes, one? Yes, a giraffe I can just told vomit. The, the tuba – the tuba, tuba is the lie. Made, I mean, oh, it it gotcha, doesn't gotcha. say giraffe. I don't know where you got giraffe Dude, from. I'm just, I don't know why I'm, you're connecting ex- horses with giraffes. I'm extrapolating. They're the, not related. According They're to not even Equus close. magazine, horses have much stronger lower esophageal sphincters than other animals, and this makes it impossible for that valve to open under backward pressure from the stomach. <laughs> you <laughs> Mike's just laughing at sphincter, sphincter over here. I only know the sphincter from one area. <laughs> it's your butt. <laughs> yes. Round two. Ding, ding, ding. Here's the three facts from round two. We have failed miserably in round one, but it's we're, we're even Stevens. And ladies and gentlemen at home, prepare, because I've read through the three of round two, and if one of these is false, your mind is about to explode. Okay, all right, all right. One of them is false, though, so my mind yes. is about to if, explode. Fact number one, if 23 people are in the same room, there is a 50% chance... That two share the same birthday. Impossible. This is that is impossible. If twenty three people are in the same room, there's a fifty percent chance that two share the same birthday. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. It's impossible. Dolphins are the single exception to the rule that all mammals have hair or fur. The single exception. Impossible. Impossible. Single all, exception. All mammals have hair. That's like part of what makes a mammal. All mammals are otters, from what I understand. Well, in in defense of this one, I don't know if this is the the true or false one, but part of a mammal, one of the rules is live birth, and yet there is the duckbill platypus, which is an egg-laying mammal. It's true. Incredible. It's a fact. So there are mammals that break the rules. And this could be one. It takes up to 14 days to make a single jelly bean. Impossible. No, that that's impossible. Ridiculous. Impossible. No, but then if that's the wrong one, so that's what that I'm means saying. if 23 people are in the same room, that's impossible. 50... Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. There are 365 days of the year. Yes. If Although are... they do not share equal, I guarantee they do not share equal weight. 
as far as, as dates of birth. birth. Yeah, you, you you certainly have. Let's seasons. cut it down to half. Let's do. Let's it. say that double the births happen in 150 days. If 23 people are in the same room, there's no way that two there's people. No way. Have he a, doesn't wait, have make a something like this chance. up, though, guys. Unless he just changes the numbers. If he took this and there's real numbers and he just substituted fake numbers. Oh man, he's a sneaky guy. Now, if he it is. takes 14, he's an owl. if it takes 14 days to make a single jelly bean, obviously Jelly Belly sells quite a few jelly beans. That's that's that means hogwash. They, but they they can make more than one at the same time. <laughs> yes, they've uh, got to be able to make like. I mean, it's similar to like like a an aged whiskey, except like for it, their jelly beans. Nobody's sitting. There, Ooh, what a fine a <laughs> treat we've <laughs> built over time. Yeah. This isn't wine or whiskey. If it's it, a jelly bean. If it you takes th- fourteen days to make your jelly bean, you need to evaluate your process. Yes. Because you were doing... You ever had an aged starburst? Mm. You were doing at I least... I have. It broke my teeth. At least 98 things are wrong with your process. That one is impossible. Now, so then that's your Unless lie. the answer is, it can take up to 14 days to make a jelly bean. <laughs> but it says... It's the it's, dolphin's one, isn't it? It's gotta be! The other two are too ridiculous. Yeah, but two of them are right, Mike. Dol- right. Don't dolphins have hair? So you're believing no. both are too ridiculous, therefore they must be right. Yes. They're too ridiculous. Yes. I'm going to vote jelly bean is the lie. I think that's – if that's the way jelly beans are getting made, one, you're wasting a lot of time making jelly beans. Also, I mean, jelly beans are just so overrated. The fact that it takes them 14 days to make one? That's what I'm saying. All right. What's your lie, Mike? Uh – before before I answer that question, Jason, why don't you tell me which one is a lie? <laughs> uh, I I think that dolphins have hair. <laughs> so I, you know, like I, I've always been told, like whales have hair. Obviously, they don't seem like it, but like the little tiny. I've hairs. always been told. <laughs> From my so, grandpappy. I when think the, the, whale, 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 hair. the whale got older and started growing <laughs> some hair. I'm a man now. <laughs> Once a dolphin goes through puberty, they get hair in funny places. I think like that, under his hands. I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. Uh, I'm going with He's the dolphins. Just... I think that's a lie. I think they're hairy beasts. All right, Mike, you. We at least know that all three of us are not going to be tied after this round. Excellent. So the, the thing about it is, is it's the dolphins are the single exception to the rule that all mammals have hair for, which is saying that there could be others. It's saying that they don't have hair, but now claiming s- that they're the only one, and there could be more. There could be five. That's different how I'm mammals. reading. Yeah, but, 100%. But I'm not reading so, it that dolphins are hairy. You were so emphatic that. The number that the first one, if twenty three people are in the because same room, that's impossible. if it's impossible, Mike, that's the lie. I, it would also even even Stevens our votes. Look, I'm trying to work at like I wish I could remember junior year statistics. <laughs> How do you figure these things out? Because it's one out of three hundred sixty five. Now, do you then multiply it by one over three sixty? That's the um, that's the answer. Because even if it's the lie, I don't care. I stand by it. It's impossible. That if 23 people are in the same room, there's a 50% chance that two share the same birthday. So only one of us is right. It's like two of us are a lie and one of us is true. I'm right. Go ahead, Al. Now, while Jason's uh, dolphin puberty uh, (laughs) concept was completely backwards, uh, dolphins are actually born with hair and it falls out. Boo! That's what I meant. Jason got it correct. That one is the lie. They are born hairy? They are born with hair. Also, hey, hold on. Otters, that means that if otters. 23 people are in the same yes. room, there's a 50% chance that two share the same birthday. I need an explanation for this. All right, buckle up. Also <laughs> referred to as the birthday problem or the birthday paradox, this is based on the mathematical principle frequently attributed to Harold Davenport. Uh, there are only 366 possible birthdays in a year, including February 29th, and each day has an equal chance of being a birthday. Using these facts, Davenport figured out that when 23 people are gathered in the same room, there's a 50% probability that two share a birthday. Uh, with 70 people in the room, it goes up to a 99.9% probability that two of them share a birthday. Okay, what you just did was you basically said the same thing without any explanation except said, this dude's real smart and he says it's so. I think that Davenport is a liar. Full of malarkey. Is it the same thing to have a 50% chance as a 50% probability? I think it is. 
I think those mean the same things. Okay, I'm I'm genuinely asking that question because he said in the reading probability. I was like, well, this is yeah, that's that's chance. So uh, so if you're in a room, every single day of the year has an equal chance of possibly being that person's birthday. Is what he's saying. Yeah, but that's 365. Doesn't make no or 366 no sense. because they're including leap year. Wow, that that one I stand Mind by. Mind blowing. Impossible. Impossible. And All here right, we Jason's are winning with Harry Dolphins winning. <laughs> All right, round three. Let's go. The inventor of the fidget spinner was actually designing a new turret system for his microscope when his son found his 3D printed prototype and couldn't put it down. Okay, sounds plausible. That sounds very specific. Sounds too specific to be alive. <laughs> <laughs> Adolf Hitler once plotted to kill Winston Churchill with exploding chocolate. Sounds delicious. If it's not, if that one, I'm with that one. That one's got to be true. Yeah, otherwise you just made up a Hitler lie. <laughs> right. You don't want to come up with like, oh, you know what would be good? I got to make a lie up. Let's do Hitler. <laughs> Let's do a Hitler lie today, folks. <laughs> Hitler and Churchill on my mind. Oh, man, I hope that's the lie, man, oh, just so man. we can give it to Borland. Be like, why are you making up <laughs> Hitler lies? All right. <laughs> the longest bout of hiccups lasted for 68 years. Okay, so that's either one of two things, true or a stupid change by Borland where he's like, no, it's 86 he, years. To, to his credit, as an award-winning producer of our award-winning show, yes, He's not been stupid with no, any of these. No, that's true. In he's two, been award winning. two times. He just he, keep waiting for it to He's happen. never taken certain ones and then been like, no, it's actually 63 years. Uh, in that voice either. The longest bout of hiccups. I, I watched something as a kid when I had hiccups. I don't know. I had seen it. It was on one of them PBS shows. And it talked about people that had these really long bouts. And it terrified me every bout of hiccups I had for the next few years that that would be the one where. This is your life now. Yeah. So I believe that the 68 years thing is true. It's, I do, too. It sounds true -ish. And I believe that the Hitler thing is true because, come on, it's Al Borland. He's not sitting out here just meditating on Hitler lies. Now, here's the thing about the inventor of the fidget spinner. It says he was design, designing a new turret system for his microscope. Do microscopes have, like, a, a turret? Yeah, well, it's you, like a yeah, rotating you, turret. To, yes, microscopes yeah. often have more than one lens, and you turn it. It does sound specific, though, because I feel like... As smart as Borland is, I don't think he would call it a turret system. No. He's no. not that smart. A fidget he, with spinner. With wood, maybe. But here's here's what I'm thinking. A microscope, when you are when they actually have the multi lenses you turn and it you know, it clicks into place. Meanwhile, a fidget spinner continues it, to it goes limitless. So that if you had a microscope and you could spin it like that and it just went round and round and never stopped, that would be a horrific invention. I think the fidget spinner one's a lie. Locking it in. Oh, yeah, you two should pick the same one. And then I'll pick that one. No way. And I win. I'm content just getting this one right. And I'm going fidget spinner final answer. What do you guys think? I want to do the Adolf Hitler as a lie. That it was like, oh, he tried to kill I'm him. I'm going by... hiccups. <sighs> well, that was quickly. You're just trying to get me to I'm adopt I'm playing the... the game. Yeah, I see what you're doing over there. <laughs> yes. The longest yes. bout of hiccups. See, the thing about the longest bout of hiccups lasted for 68 years is that that sounds like a fact. And oh, because it's a lie. Exactly. Like, Borland's trying to trick us here. I think you're right. I think that it's the longest bout of hiccups lasted for 68 years. That's just too simple, too easy. Here's an outlandish stat. All right. So you're so, but if I But if I pick that. I guarantee that Mike cannot win, which is also great because he won last time. Well, you and I can tie if you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Dude. And I got a 66% it it right. chance do you any, of winning. It doesn't do you any good to get the wrong answer here. You can't think, win with the wrong answer. I think the longest bout of hiccups lasted for 68 years. I'm switching it's, to the chocolate. Okay. That's your are, is officially? Because I'm going hiccups. I think that's too simple. I, well, we, I can't you not can switch. No. All right. I'm going the the Adolf Hitler hilarious joke by Owl Borland. All right. What's the truth? <laughs> All right. This episode uh, of Liar Liar has ended in a tie. Uh, Dang it. Andy got this one right. The fidget spinner was completely made up. Completely made up. Completely. Dude, yes. Borland, you're I, doing I good work you. over there, man. It was, it was the, You're doing exceptional work over there. It was the clicking. That's, well, that's where I felt like it was wrong. Plus, this means you didn't make up a Hitler lie. That's good. That's good. But it does mean that he went and put in a Hitler fact. 
<laughs> it's like, Facts which of- one is worse? Yeah, which one is worse? <laughs> Making up a lie or just saying something that Hitler did? Wow. Okay, <laughs> so we tied today. Oh, Mike and I, right? No. You and Jason. That's right. Oh, that's right. So now that's we right. are collectively tied lifetime. No, no. You got one victory. Andy and I now have one victory. Yeah, when, when people win at the same time, they call that a tie. You don't get a full victory point. Is that congrats, true? Jason. You guys right, got half a on the point. Win. Half yeah, a point. But you don't have any ties on your I record. think the real winner here was Al Borland. You fooled us well. Let's move on. Spitwatch, sometimes when things get overwhelming, taking care of yourself, it's the first thing to go. It shouldn't be, but unfortunately, that's the way it, it goes. Like, But if you can spare just 15 minutes, you can seamlessly fit cardio and strength classes into your routine with Peloton. Holy crap, do I love my Peloton. It's the best. It's probably the best thing I've ever purchased in my life. Invest where, in yourself. Exactly. I, I love it. it cardio is, it, it hasn't been my thing. So I was a little skeptical about the Peloton, but you know, I had some friends tell me about how great it is. I was like, can it be that different? And yes, you jump into your first ride. Like there's all different kinds of instructors, but this is a shout out to my man Alex Toussaint. When I spend 20 minutes with Alex, I leave I leave the bike on fire. Not just I I feel better physically cuz I'm taking care of myself, but this dude is like he is a guru. Like he speaks to you and he he really, truly fires you up for Some the king stuff. For the day, yes, exactly, yes, king stuff. He might say other words, but it. He is absolutely the best. And right now, there's never been a better time because look, you can get the original Peloton bike for four hundred dollars less. And check this out: experience, motivation like never before with the Peloton bike. Now four hundred dollars less. Just go to onepeloton.com to learn more. That's o n e p e l o t o n dot com. The Spitballers Draft. Stupid draft. (laughs) Unless it was next week, in which case, fantastic draft. The draft that we have selected for us, courtesy of Al Borland, is months of the year. We are drafting months of the year. Every single one of them. All 12 will be drafted. I'm going to try to make my notes. And Mike gets the first pick. Ah, oh, see, that if all 12 are being drafted as the first pick, that means that the last pick is not even really a pick for me. That's correct. Oh, you poor baby. I know. That's so terrible. But it, because it doesn't matter. It what doesn't the, matter. You're going to win the poll because you get the first pick, it, even though you get February. It does. You think, that, <laughs> you think February is the last throwaway month? It's only got 28 days, dude. It's a little itty bitty baby loser of a month <laughs> sometimes it has 29 yeah it's the only month that changes wow okay well it stays I'm, pliable i'm very excited to get i hope that's your 101 to get february for free Ooh, name problem Ooh, and come on i have the first pick so obviously it, look owl Borland has already written it inside of the dunk because it's the most wonderful time of the year yes it is it's got the best holiday it's got vacations it's got two weeks off of school wait why does it have vacations oh because you're taking off a week of december yes here christmas in the studio. vacations yeah because it's christmas i'm taking december Okay. And the draft is over. We may cue the music. All right. You don't believe in yourself enough to turn your four picks into a more compelling argument than December? I think if I got 11 picks. <laughs> this is like this is like Mike Tyson fighting a teenager. No, but 11 teenagers, Mike. Okay, I'll still take it's Mike still Tyson. It's still going to be Mike Tyson. <laughs> All right. I'm going to do my best here, okay? Because the holidays are, to me, what matter. The best time of the year. We live in Arizona, so, you know, summer is terrible here. Yes. So I'm still going to stick with my heart. I'm going to go with the month that you start decorating for Christmas, which is October. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, I know Andy thought I was going elsewhere. Look, Halloween is so much fun. You've got the changing of the seasons. This was, this was the only obvious choice. This is, oh, this is where... I mean, there's 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 parties thrown. There's costumes dressed up as the weather in Arizona starts changing. How many ways can I describe Halloween? <laughs> I'm trying there's to parties being thrown. There's I'm Halloween. Trying there's to time t- of year when you dress up. There's candy given out on the street. <laughs> Don't forget the big blow up things and uh, the houses that are haunted. 
Uh, yeah, I'm. So going, you're going with? I think October, October is. October. It's my. It is genuinely my second favorite month of the year because it's for Arizonans. This is where we yeah, can yeah. finally start go going outside again. Mm -hmm. We can live and and not be scorched by. <laughs> See, the sun. I think you've made a terrible mistake, oh, and I need to beat you. Please take it. But the reason that you've made a terrible mistake is because you just built this around yourself, not about the objective truths of these months. You built this around Arizona's weather. You built it around when you hang up, uh, you hang up Christmas things. That's it's also the month, very the month early. That, that I'm selecting is November. Oh, the worst November month. What a loser month. November's, November's amazing. It is the actual month you prepare for Christmas. It is the month that you have Thanksgiving, which is a wonderful holiday. It's the stupidest holiday. You get time off. You eat a ton of food. You watch football on it, Mike. That, that part's pretty great. Yeah, that part's pretty good. <laughs> November is greater sign October. In my opinion, that's Look, fine. You get another pick. I know. I mean, October is way better than November. I was going to give you a chance but, to respond. But yeah, but November is. I look. November is the clear pick to me it's because the, there's three holiday months in a row. That's October, November, December. That's the greatest quarter of the year. It's so wild to me because there is a month that is so vastly superior to November. Really? <laughs> yes, because of every called December. My number one. Well, pick. I'm saying besides that, like my my number two pick is still on the board. Really? That's, that's yes. fine. It's not going to make it back to me, but let's... I'm actually going with the month of March. Oh, for my second pick, for several reasons. The Ides of March. Yes. First of all, weather in March. It's when spring begins. Weather in Arizona. If you want to keep it local, it's great in March. But nationally, that's the beginning of spring. You've got March Madness. That's an exciting collegiate tournament. Sure. You've got. St. Patrick's Day. You've got spring break for a lot of people. And you know what else? You got, you got my birthday. My, that's, birth, that's my birthday is in March. So kind of a big month. Excellent pick. I Way better be, than November. I will be honest with you, Andy. Had you not taken March, March would have 100% have been my, my Excellent. next pick. There's a, <laughs> to add to your rationale and to add to the 23 people in a room would share the same birth date. I'm pretty sure half of everyone I know was born in March. Yes, it's something. Maybe you just brought. Maybe March people they relate to you. Maybe I was they're born in March. Though. Yes, I was were born in March. You were born in March. I'm pretty sure that, that Mike means... was born in March. Mike was born in March. <laughs> My children were born in March. There's a, there's something going around. You you take what is nine months nine before, months before in March? <laughs> Do the math, Borland. All right, so I am, I am on. Hey, look, your 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 pick that you're hoping gets back to you. You're probably gonna get. Because from here on out, all these stinky months are the same. But since I can't go to Disneyland and have it dressed up for Christmas because you took December. Yes, that's that's correct. That first week. That first week of January. Oh, okay. That's that a good first month. week of January, I can still get there. The crowds are gone. It's still got the whole holiday Christmas season going. It's my wife's birthday. Okay. It's New Year's. It's good weather. So give me January. I'm starting the year off with the bang. When you go to Disney and you, you're there for that last week of stuff, do you like make faces with all the other people there and all of you nod and say like, I know this isn't as good as December. <laughs> like if, if I like can, we got the discount travel too. Thank you. If I can choose, if I like literally for years, yes. if I can choose mm -hmm. to go to Disney at any time of the year. Uh-huh. It would be the first week of December, and then it would be the... F but after that, it gets too busy. <laughs> then it would be the first week of January. Sure. But if I had to choose between going like on the Christmas, the week of Christmas Why did you say, versus you the first week of January, I'm going to go, and I'm going to look the people in the faces, and we're going to go, yeah, what's up? We're the smart ones. We, uh, we've I think got what you say to them is you say, how was your Christmas? <laughs> I think what you say is high were you, five. Were you here two weeks ago? It we're was not, amazing. We're not What's waiting three for? hour long lines. Okay, January is a good month. New Year's. I mean, New Year's. Yeah, it's, it's, it's exciting. January's pretty good. So my my second pick, it made it back to me. Lo and behold, because it still holds a special place in your heart. Yes, we live in Arizona, and yes, we are crotchety old men now. So yeah. this this month sucks. However, this month. Significant, sig significant, significant, <laughs> signified, significizes. <laughs> so 
content oh, special. This month has got 30 days and the significance is. I know what you're taking. Yeah, me too. I'm taking June, man. It's summer vacation. This is like, yes, in Arizona now we get out in May, but to the rest of the nation, June is summer. June is fantastic. It sucks in the in the desert, but everywhere the else, majority of places, the in everywhere else in the United States, June is awesome because you are done with school, you are free for three months, you are on the best vacation of your life, and that's that's eighteen years of your life. You're looking at that, so June is incredible. Now, now it gets a lot tougher because the other picks I would have liked to take, however. I'm going to take the, the month that Jason has just thrown in the garbage. I'm taking February. I don't care if it's shorter. Sometimes it's a little bit longer. It gets to actually be interesting. Every other month, it's the same amount of days every single year. Not February. No. Every four years, you, you get, get Valentine's Day. What about, this, what about the spelling versus pronunciation problem, though? That, that 100% is a problem. But <laughs> you, sometimes you get an extra day. You get Valentine's Day. And, fellas, you get the Super Bowl. Ooh. All right. All right. Look, good one. that's a good one. February is is an excellent month. Look, I'm really February sad. at the beginning of this draft because 28 days and it's the littlest, tiniest, worst month. But then in reality, it's a great month. The weather is great, at least for us in Arizona. I love Valentine's Day. I know people out there hate on it. Whatever. If you're in Arizona, it's Arizona's birthday. That's so, true. That's um, true. Look, I'm going to go with the month that you should have taken a second ago. Andy and I locked eyes because we both knew what you were taking. Clearly, you were taking Pinnacle Summer. Now, it sucks for Arizona, but the rest of the world loves it. And it – what was the word, Mike, uh, used? Signi it, significant. It significizes <laughs> the birth of a nation. I mean, sure. you want to talk about – I thought about doubling we did, up. We did both think you were going July. 100%. But I've got July. I've got yeah. the 4th of July – I've yeah. got the the uh, you know the barbecue outside for everyone outside of Arizona. We barbecue in the winter here. Yes. Foot spit wads. Foot spit wads. Foot, foot spit wads. <laughs> spit wads. If you don't understand how awful barbecuing in the summer, like we still do it in Arizona. We still get the grill out because the stores are all decorated with you know you the barbecue to... stuff. What a nightmare. <laughs> You're out in the hottest imaginable weather, and you go stand by a flame. <laughs> it's, it's so You have stupid. to actually jump in the pool, cook a burger, jump in the pool, mm -hmm. keep cooking the burger. 100%. So I'll take July. All right. Well, I, at this point, I feel like I've got leftovers, and that's it. So I'm going to go for what what you'd call a, a straight flush at this point. I want, I'm want. i going to grab April and May. I, I'm finished. <laughs> I got March already. I'm taking April and May. <laughs> I'm going back to back. I want at least a consecutive amount of days to enjoy the spring. A Look, April Fool's Day. I know you're not a big fan, Mike. Oh no, April Fool's Day is, is the best. Is absolute uh, human garbage. But look, you get the showers and the flowers, my man. I get the showers. I get the flowers in May. I get Memorial you get my, Day. You get my birthday. It was a, Hooray! Yeah, you know, we get your birthday. <laughs> it's a pretty so, big deal. Yeah. So I I think April's not too bad. Uh, May. I got to go with what's left over here, and I don't want the worst month of the year. So oh, that's no, what I'm gonna, doing. It's going to drop to me. It's going to bring my stock down. I, I I feel like I knew what the worst month of the year was from the moment this draft started. So there's only two months left. Enjoy yourselves. So the, got November, March, April, May. Am I correct here that the last two months are September and August? I don't right? know, Jason. Are they? Yes. <laughs> so if I've got to decide. I'll take Schlocktober. Ah <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, these are uh, these are both August. bad months. These are both bad months, and and they're they're bad in my mind for the same reason. I'm going to take September. No, because it hurts Mike primarily. Yes, I think that even though it's a bad connotation, sometimes the back to school thing is also a fun time. I, I know my kids. I know when I was growing up, by the end of summer, it was like, I, I can't wait to see my friends again, go back to school, do all that. The weather is still a little bit better. Uh, August is... How are you missing the best part of September? Which is? Football. Oh, yeah. Football. It's, it's the kickoff of the season. I love September. 
So that's interesting. Well, you can't have it, Mike, because I took it. September was my vote for the worst month of the year. Oh, because, August is the worst because month. Because yes. for the entire, my whole childhood, now it's changed to Mike's month. Yes. But, but going back to school meant you, the end of summer vacation. And yes, sure, I was a kid. And once you're back at school and you see your friends, it's all right. It's all right when you're a kid. But I dreaded September because it meant I have to go back and not be playing in the pool or playing Donkey Kong Country or enjoying my summer. So September's my turn of the going year. I back to school. Hey, guys, I, I, got, I have a big announcement. What your, what your last pick is? I would like to draft the best month of all time. It's Look, it's... It starts with an A. It's the first letter in the I alphabet. Still don't follow. You don't have go, Mike. Genuinely, you can crap all over this month. <laughs> you don't have to build it up. You can tell everyone out there why it's the worst month in the year, and you're gonna win this poll ninety five to five. I will do no such thing because this month is sensational. I probably should have taken it second. I just did. <laughs> I, I, I got lucky. I got it with my very last pick of the draft. And he celebrated. You remember when he celebrated when you took September? He was so happy. He went, dang it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was like, dang it. You guys lost this poll so bad <laughs> because I get August. Dang it. Yeah. August. Uh, all right. December, June, February, August. Jason has October, January, July, and September. That is a good lineup. <laughs> Still won't win. Objective commentary from Jason. Yep. November, March, April, May. The only hope we have is that our remaining months somehow dwarf Mike's. He's no, gonna, he's he, going to win. Your your only hope is that August is such a giant wart upon my draft <laughs> that people move along. There's no single but they won't month because that I is got December. the wart. I yes, exactly. December. You have December. You have Christmas. I'm voting for you, Mike. When I go for the first time ever, I'm not, I'm gonna vote for one of you two because I can't go against my conscience. Did you guys ever hear that saying that November is the new December? I heard it as October. Oh, okay, we heard it differently, I guess. Yes, that is it for our draft. That is it for the episode. <sighs> what an episode it was! What did we learn today? Oh my goodness, we. I learned that M Jason Moore believed that up i mean you're how old are you i am 36 for 36 years Jason why did believed, you look at your watch because <laughs> i got i got a notification oh, oh. Anyway, hold on <laughs> checking my age the watch says i am 36 years 36 old. years you thought that otters may have fins or uh, flippers or I, flippers i wrote down that otters have hands as what i learned this is real that's true i i also learned that otters are the cutest you get, look, stinking animal in the world. You got to look up the videos of the otters holding hands. It's it's unbelievable, man. And I learned that Owl Borland loves nothing more than an absolute critical and sensational Adolf Hitler fact. Oh. That's true. He did choose an Adolf Hitler fact. He, At the he, end of the day, he did choose that. He searched for facts to put in our show. And he searched Adolf Hitler facts. This one's the best one. <laughs> <laughs> we'll catch you next time, everybody. Goodbye. Thanks for listening to the Spitballers podcast. To see what other nonsense the guys are up to, check out spitballerspod.com.